watch an idiotic rambling with life is good. Keep the wheels turning and the chicken lights burning. Come on. Oh, and uh, don't forget your high-speed chicken feed there, Roger. Okay, just like that, we are unloaded. Feels good over here in Vegas, man. It is uh, 74 degrees and just awesome. We're down to four rows of carpet. Piece of cake. I would have went, but I wasn't sure if I could go right or left up here. I think everybody over there is going to go left. We, we could have. We got all kinds of bloody town there. Come on. But it's a red light. We're distracted talking to you guys now. She's going to be green. Now we're going to go. Absolutely beautiful. Now we got to make a tough call. Do we get the truck washed to Blue Beacon here in Vegas or do we, do we go to Little Sisters? I really, really, really <clears throat> want to go to Little Sisters. However, I know Little Sisters will be super time consuming, but it will be a really good wash job. So I don't know, man. Just Dutch new. I vote for Little Sisters. So, we will see. Right now we got to call the broker and tell him we got unloaded here in Vegas. And now we are off to, uh, might as well say San Francisco. I don't know why they call it Hayward Suburbs. Guess we'll find out. Hopefully we can park there tonight. Because there is no parking in that area. Parking sucks. There's a 49er, but I'm not even going close to the 49er. So, uh, we may stay way south of there. I think we, I think we can park at the customer. So we'll see. We're only uh, eight hours away, and it's uh, 6:30. So they will probably not take us today, even though it's only four rows. I just soon wait till tomorrow anyway. Um, I like to stop get the truck wash, take my time. I'm going to get a shower at the TA and uh, trash around. Maybe see uh, Greg Murphy, the Uber guy, one that y'all saw in the video. He lives over there. I think him and I might meet up if I have time to work it out. Uh, you know how trucking goes. It's go, go, go. Even coming out of California, I'll wait to Upper Marlboro, Maryland uh, this week. It's I got to average about 500 miles a day to get to. Uh, we'll see if we can step it up and squeeze the 34-hour reset in somewhere. I think we're going to have an hours issue somewhere along the route. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Need to stop at Iowa 80 or somewhere and get a T-bar um, if they have one for this truck. These mud flap hangers are too high. They're getting into the airlines. This thing turns great though. I love it. I said love it. Just gotta remember if you turn it too hard in one direction you gotta stop and get the airlines off the uh, mud flap hangers because if you don't you'll break the mud flap hanger off. Those airlines are tough. Already experienced it, done it, been there, did that, sing it, got the t-shirt. I was trying to figure out what that was right there and it was a homeless girl. I seen the umbrella and I couldn't hardly see her. She was camouflaged into all the stuff. But I couldn't, I couldn't figure out what that was. That was a human, man. Bless her heart. I think there's a pretty good large homeless population here in the uh, Las Vegas area. And why not, man? Good climate, you know? And a half mile. Turn right if I don't want to be homeless, I want to do it here or, or uh, Hawaii, you know? Uh, over in the tropics, Key West, that's where I really want to go. I can panhandle the tourists coming off the tour boats. Go to the 
Key West, Florida, and, and uh, Mile, right yeah, man. Road, Alright, then. We're out. Hey, well, there's a TA. I ain't never. So, I've been over here to this casino. I went to Silverton. Yeah, I've been over here because of Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, well, that's where I've seen my first real live mermaid. It was right there at that Bass Pro Shop. You guys won't see it yet. You'll see it when I turn to the left here, but walk to this um come on dude you walk to the silverton for the ta truck stop and they got some cool readers in there um man is it pricey holy smokes well, i want to be johnny rockets so i couldn't afford to buffet well i could afford to buffet but i wasn't gonna pay that kind of money i wasn't even that hungry no more than i was gonna eat it wasn't worth uh i can't remember what it was it, 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 it might have been cheap for vegas style it's like $29 or something, some kind of specialty. Uh, but yeah, from out here, it looks like a regular Bass Pro. Never seen this side of it. Because the entrance is from the uh, casino. They have a really nice Mexican restaurant in there. Uh, anyway, so if you guys are ever in Vegas, oh, look at there, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel, Squirrel. If you guys are ever in Vegas, uh, check the TA, you just walk across the intersection. That casino and experience some of the Vegas uh, lifestyle without having to go to the strip. So there you go. We're gonna run this all the way down here to Bar or Bakersfield. Bar still is hanging. I don't know, man. This this thing to be started. Yeah, I remember slide these wheels up under our butts before we go into Cali. We will get ourselves a uh, bridge law ticket. I want to show you guys the bridge law rules. Uh, I might do that on this video. If I don't, we'll, we'll do it sometime. So stay tuned for you non trucking guys to learn all about bridge laws and uh, and uh, axle weights and restrictions. We will uh, try to get that get that info for you here shortly. And we'll call it broken. Feel like y'all see this six lanes going through the desert, three each direction. Well, they just need so many lanes out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, cool. Look over there. Can y'all see that? Painted, painted rocks stacked up. Somebody's gonna be able to tell you what that's for if you can even see it. Weird stuff you see out here in the desert. Weird. Come on. Indeed. The little sisters are bust. I'm excited. I wish I had time for a fluff and puff. Just a soft polish, but I, you know, I don't need it. It just needs uh, washed. It's only been washed once since we had her shined up. So there might still be some shine left under all that dirt. If there's some shine left under all that dirt, little sisters will uncover it. And I really hope there's a tamale lady there. I'll buy me a stock of tamales put in the refrigerator. She comes and sells those things out of the truck of her car. And Lord have mercy, are they good? Uh -uh. I like eating other truck of cars. Come on, I'm a trashy truck driver. I've ate out of worse. Reminds me of that guy that competed in that. Uh, not Iron Man, whatever that challenge is, where they do those obstacles. He was a homeless guy, lived off the streets, ate out of dumpsters. And they showed the dumpsters he's eating out of, eating out of his 
He's like behind a five-star hotel, man. <laughs> He got some pretty good grub out of that dumpster. I lived in his van, you know, but, uh, but yeah, he did pretty good in that competition. What is that competition? They jump over all them obstacles, climb the ropes, swinging things. And, hey, there's a KLR right there. So that's what we want to put on the back of the catwalk. I'll only wrap it to match the peak. Check it out. I got the same backpack, too. Yeah. Need that. Need that. Uh, that looked too bad. That's the first time. Yeah. Put it on the catwalk. That Thunder Graphics wrap it. Match the peat. We'll be styling and profiling. Come on. Looks like there's a uh, hotel slash casino way down here in the middle of nowhere. I think they missed the uh, they missed the strip. Yes, sir. SD card area again on that $129 card. That's a bunch of malarkey. Uh, we're almost out of Nevada, fixing to cross into California. I start pulling the brakes and put the parachute out because California statewide speed limit is 55 trucks. And Rand McNally has already given us a warning on the screen about the keen pin uh, measurements to the tandems. So, uh, hopefully we can stop right down here and slide the wheels up under our butts and uh, microwave ourselves a biscuit. I don't know where the first California uh, PlayStation is. We're here on 15. Hey, here's a flying jet of pilot. Let's just whip off in there and get this stuff handled. Go get these wheels slid back and uh, get some coffee, microwave the biscuit, and uh, blah blah blah. I like it, very nice. There's a roller coaster over there at that casino. Looks like some kind of dirt racetrack over to the left. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Now, where's that flying jay at? I hope it's on the right side of the freeway and not the left. Uh, so anyway, very nice. Uh, it's probably going to be left. Bad habit. And no, it's right. Cool. Cool, man. We did good. You know, I don't, I just don't like crossing the freeway if I don't have to. It's just a waste of, uh, a waste of my time there, you know. There's a pump right there. Jeez. They have torn the road out. I really hope we can make this right turn right here. Yes, sir. It's not looking very promising. It's not looking very promising at all. They need to move that cone right there, you know what I mean? They need to move that cone. If they moved that cone, it would be good. Jesus. Thank you, ma'am. Just go over and move that cone back a little bit. We can make that right turn a lot easier. So we're just flying jet. This is a weird place for a flying jet. Free covered parking. Well, I don't think I've ever been here before. But I'll take the free if I was only clean, man. Holy smokes. I think this might have been a mistake coming here. I don't need it in here for nothing. It's unbelievable. We go back out. We'll see if they moved that cone because I rubbed up against it for them. That would have been a good head cam video. I don't know. Look, covered parking that. Come on. I ain't never. I think 
I'll just park down here by the scales and walk. Be much safer. Okay, we got our coffee. We got our trotter wheel slid. Uh, I looked at the map. I was going to show you guys. I told y'all a moment ago we, we were going to show you um, our, the weight, the blah, blah, blah. Let's look at that solar panel farm up here to your right. You'll see here in a moment, straight ahead. Uh, so, how do we get out of here? They, uh, the map, it's got the uh, bridge law limits listed for each state. I didn't, I, I pulled the map I was going to show you guys, but they used to have a really cool picture uh, in it. That would show you a diagram of the truck and the, and the and the and the distances. They don't only have the picture; it's just text now in each state. So it would not have been that exciting for you guys. You would have had to read. I wanted to show you a picture, so no such luck. You can probably Google it. Bridge laws uh, for different states. For those of you that don't know. Anyway, it's going to be an awesome trip today. Uh, going down uh, 15 to uh, Barstow, cutting across 58. Love running. Love it, man. Get to go across uh, Tallahatchie. Tallapatchie. Yeah, someone told me how to say that about a year ago, but I have since forgot. You know, it's like Tule, it's Tuwila, Tuwila, Utah, but anyway, blah, blah, blah. So, I-15 uh, South, right lane, and we're going to get to see if they moved our cone for other drivers. We will uh, pause the video right here for you guys so you don't sit here and waste a valuable time of your life listening to this idiot ramble about junk he knows nothing about. Holy smokes, that was about a three minute pause for you guys. Did y'all realize that? I'm a coming, I'm a coming. Jeez. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. No, anyway, they did not move the barrel. It's still there. Same location. Alright, get this thing up to reach the cruising speed and we got to go, right, Roger. So we will see you guys in beautiful California. Might already be there, just don't know it. I don't know. We got ourselves a cappuccino this time instead of coffee. Weird, haven't had that in forever. Welcome to California. Everybody pick your feet up. There we go. Yeah, look at them solar panel farms over to y'all's right. There's two of them. Are they catching the sun? I think there's one right down here in the valley too. Wow. Pretty impressive. Oh wait. <laughs> I just got up to 65. Whoa, whoa, whoa. To watch the parachute. Holy smokes. We locked the cruise at 58. Sit here and ride rest of the day. All right, so about a hundred and uh, I guess 120 miles down here at Barstow. I don't know. I think we're gonna go down here and get the truck washed and get our get that driver a, a bath. See ya. This is Ben Irick at the TNA truck stop in Branford, Connecticut. We're looking for Tim Gorley. If we don't find him here, we'll find him on YouTube on Life Is Good. Come on.